And that's, that's where my focus was, I think, at that point from a faith perspective. But I thought, I wonder if at this point, and in the summer of 2015, I was 41 years old. So I wonder if at this point, this is a sort of halftime, not just of life, but halftime of work. You know, we're right in the middle. And it's, it's, if there's ever going to be a time to, to repivot or to make a move, it's, it's in this stage of life. And I just kind of let that fester, you know, let that simmer a little bit for the next year. And not too much later after that, I remember having a conversation with a guy named Brad Lominick. I don't know if you know Brad. Hmm, He's a leadership guru, um, strong man of God, but also one of the most um, valued people, I think, in the, the Christian leadership business circle. He's the great connector. He knows everybody, as I call it. Brad was at this conference. Brad and I had known each other, or that gathering. Brad and I had known each other about a few years for social media and just connecting and talking on the phone, but never in person. And I found out that he was coming through the Northeast, where I am in Connecticut, to do a conference in New Hampshire. So he called me and said, hey, could I get a tour of ESPN? I said, absolutely. And I gave hundreds of tours. I just love showing the place that I got to work around to my friends and and other people. I've given tours to, you know, athletes and musicians and authors, just lots of cool people have come through and even just friends, right? Friends of friends of friends. But Brad came through that day and I took him on a tour and he loved it. But then we sat down and had lunch and he's the first person I think I ever told, maybe even before I told my wife, which probably isn't good advice here, guys, if you're married, but I hadn't gotten there with my wife yet about potentially leaving. But I said to Brad, at lunch, I said, you know, that gathering that we were at really kind of shifted my focus a little bit. I said, am I crazy to think that maybe God's calling me away from ESPN? This is probably September of 2015. I didn't leave until February of 2017. So you can see there was, there was a lot of time in between here. And Brad looked at me and he said, you're not crazy, Jason, but be careful. I thought, okay, what's he, what's he mean by that? He said, be careful because if you leave, God's going to blow your mind and he's going to open up doors that you never expected. He'll do that if you stay at ESPN as well. But if you leave to pursue him and to do work that's purposeful for him, just be careful because I don't think you understand what the Lord is going to do here. And I took that for whatever it was. Uh, I didn't know what that meant. Now I can look back seven years later and tell you, that God has absolutely blown doors open that I never expected. I mean, to be a two-time author or be even a speaker that people would call and ask to come and speak at their events, at that time, I wasn't doing any of that. In 2015, I, th- I don't even think the book idea had happened yet. Certainly speaking, I think I might have spoken at one small men's group gathering uh, and certainly wasn't thinking about you know leaving to go for a sports and faith company where I'd be hosting my own show. None of that was in the works. It was just a feeling, I guess, or maybe it was the Holy Spirit kind of kind of nudging me and just saying, hey, get ready here. 